What is premature ejaculation? Premature ejaculation is simply put rapid ejaculation and broadly put it implies achieving ejaculation by a man during sexual activity before himself or his partner wishes for that to happen. Hi everyone, you're welcome back to House of Medicine where we demystify the myths that surrounds medicine and give you facts about your health. I remain Dr. Khalifa IA and today we are going to be discussing premature ejaculation. There are basically two types. One is lifelong, where the individual experiences premature ejaculation from his very first sexual experience in life. And the other is acquired, where the man has had normal sexual experiences, but then somewhere along the line begins to uh, witness occurrence of premature ejaculation. For the lifelong, actually, it's been found to be associated with deep-seated psychological problems, either situations of sexual abuse in childhood, some form of rape experiences, and the likes for some men. While for others, deep anxiety has also been found to be associated with it. And for the acquired use of psychotropic drugs and also some sexual um, psychological problems are also known to be associated with it. Child dysfunction, which is also termed as impotence in layman's language, is also another factor. So, the issue is, what is the effect of premature ejaculation? This is known to have profound effect in men, especially on their mental state, and could lead to depression in some. It is known to affect marital stability, and also self-confidence of most men who suffer from this condition. There are no known tests to confirm this disease. However, we will not go too deep into its treatment because we could use medical or non-medical forms of treatment. I will discuss the non-medical forms, but I won't be discussing the medical forms to avoid abuse by people outside there. Ways to manage this condition non-medically includes counseling individuals that have or suffer from this condition. And a very important factor is the involvement of their partners. For a man, being put down in terms of his sexual activity or function by his partner can be very devastating. As such, the involvement of the partner in the treatment of this disease condition is paramount. And the support shown by the woman may actually go far in helping a man to overcome this disease condition. Also, peer pressure and the pressure to perform against a woman can also be a very important factor in this disease condition. Something else that has also been shown to be of help is what we call the stop-start technique. The stop-start technique was developed by Johnson's and it is a technique where the man tends to stop the activity, sexual activity, once the urge or feeling to ejaculate comes. And he can also go ahead to squeeze the glands, that is the tip of the penis, either by himself or by his partner, for a while until that feeling leaves and then he continues. So the more he practices this, the more he finds out he is able to delay his ejaculation willingly and hopefully achieve uh, ejaculation at the right time, satisfactory to both partners. So the last thing I would like to discuss in the non-pharmacological form of this treatment of this disease is basically the man being able to understand the sexual cycle. This is also very important. We'll be discussing more about it in our subsequent videos and a deep understanding of this will help any man to hopefully overcome this condition without the use of drugs. Once more, thank you for tuning in to House of Medicine. I remain a urologist. It's part of our jobs to make women happy by making the men healthy. Thank you.